So, greetings from the tiny house. I was going to do some cladding today, but I don't know if you can hear it's raining. I'm kind of hoping it stops raining just so I can get some cladding done. But also because I'm expecting a very large delivery today, I've ordered the plywood for the inner wall and I got some rock wool for the insulation and I got some 2x2s two and some 3x2s. 3x2s is going to be for the subfloor and the 2x2s is going to be for furniture. And then tomorrow my dad and his friend are coming to help me do some more work on the tiny. Maybe build the um, partition wall between the bathroom and the living area space and also help me build the subfloor. But yeah, once the cladding's on, just a few more tweaks out there and then the outside's pretty much done. And then I need to start focusing on the electrical side of it and the gas pipes and the water. But once I make the utility box and I can see how well that all fits and I can get everything inside, then I can adjust all the cables and wires accordingly. I will get someone to check it out. Um, mm -hmm. Now there's a, like a caravan association, I think they're probably the best people to ask regarding those kind of things. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Well, it seemed to have stopped raining. That's just a bit of a spatter off the trees, but yeah, I can get a bit more cladding done now. The delivery hasn't come yet, but it's still quite early. It's still only half 11, so hopefully that'll come. But after that rain, I can see quite a few patches where water's coming in. I don't know if it'll probably lessen, obviously, once I put a guttering along that side. That gutter couldn't really be permanent because it, it would then make the width of the tiny house too wide for the road. But I think whilst it was stationary, it'd be fine to put it on. So I like to think maybe once that was put on, it would obviously lessen it. But still, I need to find out where all these leakages are coming from. It's annoying, but apart from that, the rest of the house is dry. Yeah, try and get some cladding done above that wall and then here and then all the way along. I hope the delivery does come soon. off just to make it easier because the door will eventually sit inside so for now I'm just taking it off so now the fun bit start is doing that but after doing the circular window it's not too bad to use a jigsaw cutter to get the curb on that and then tackle around that window yeah hey down here down here there we go Good morning from a sunny, tiny house. Well, it's sunny up there, not really down here, kind of in the shade, but it's a lovely morning. Especially after yesterday's downpour. With the leakages inside, my boss said it's not something I need to really worry about at this stage, just because the windows haven't been filled in yet, and it was, it was all on one side where the rain drains off. So that's good to know. 
So yeah, today, get the rest of this wall cladded. Um, my dad and his friend are coming to help me, which is great. And I'd like to clad the window on the front. Maybe try and build a utility box and maybe start doing the subfloor. But we'll see how we get on. It's meant to rain this afternoon. So I really want to get the rest of this cladded so that then the cladding is pretty much all done and then start on some of the inside jobs or we can do those jobs inside so that's easier so yeah a few errands to run and whatnot and it's just after nine now so time to get the rest of this tiny house cladded So as you can probably hear, it started raining again. So I haven't got the cladding finished, so there's still a bit more to do. And then my dad and his friend were able to put the subfloor in and start off the bathroom partition. I didn't buy enough screws, so that needs finishing off, but... Oh yeah, it's about five o'clock now and the rain's not going to stop so I'm going to have to leave the cladding. But I'm pleased with where it's got up to, so that's really good. And you're probably going to head home now. Ta-da! This is it in the daylight. You can see it a lot better. So we built two parts of the subfloor. Still need to do this one but run out of three by two. But yeah, got part of my subfloor built and the, the bathroom partition. And the doors all go there and open inwards and also act as the shower partition. So someone could still be in the shower and someone could use the bathroom. That's what I'm thinking there. 